Meanwhile, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo met with North Korea's Kim Jong-un. He says North Korea is ready to allow inspectors into their top nuclear sites. Joining us now, James Carafano, who's uh, with the Heritage Foundation. So is this sort of, I know we all have the mantra, cautious optimism, <laughs> you know, verify all of the Reagan stuff. But is this evidence that perhaps this is a, a truly true relationship that's getting better? No. Okay. Look, we, we'll we'll see you next time, James. <laughs> yeah. Look, you know, it's, we have a lot of skeptical Kim watchers in Washington. They're kind of like whale watchers. They they just watch the surface, waiting for something to break. Um, the reality is, is this this is an example of something that sounds good, but it doesn't actually tell us anything. What the only thing that would really suggest that North Korea is truly willing to denuclearize if they is if they give a full and complete verifiable accounting of all their nuclear assets and so far they've been reluctant to do that so that's the the whale breaking the surface that everybody's waiting to hear all these other things just look like candy on the cake aren't they the incremental steps including the idea of the you know the dismantling uh, hidden landmines uh, between south korea and north korea and i thought another thing that was interesting james over the weekend a poll showing that south koreans now view china to be a greater threat existential threat than north korea it feels like something is happening in, in that peninsula well, uh, look, what we have to be careful is we can't go down the same path we've gone down before, which is where North Korea starts out with some promising but really meaningless uh, things, and in the end they, they give up nothing, right? And so far what we have from North Korea are all things which are very superficial, very reversible, and we still haven't seen that clean m way forward. Look, a week ago, if you asked people what was going on here, they'd say, North Korea's definition of denuclearization is their North Korea. Whatever happens in the end, they just get to keep their nuclear weapons. Um, the South Korea wants to continue on this step-by-step -step path. The United States has really been the tough one here in saying, no, sure. we need serious commitments. But the issue here is it's not just North Korea, it's Iran. If the United States folds on North Korea, what message does that send to the Iranians? And so both sides are watching that really closely. So then let me ask you, with respect to, uh, to Iran, are, are these sanctions working? Do you think they're starting to have a bite? Well, I don't think there's much question about that. If you go back and look at the Iranian economy, before JCPOA kicked in, the Iran deal, they were actually in negative growth. So their, their economy was actually contracting. After G, JCPOA, despite the fact that they have a, a really crypto, you know, a, a terribly organized economy, it actually started to grow. And now there are signs that it's actually collapsing. Yeah, and so, and you've got the key members, key allies in Europe who want to circumvent America's uh, efforts there. You know, I don't think a lot of companies are going to go with it. Given a choice of access yeah. to Iran or, or United States, if I'm BMW, I pick the United States. But what do you make of the fact that our allies are actually talking openly about circumventing our efforts? Well, it is a bit of a head scratcher. On the one hand, you're absolutely right. Companies are bailing on Iran. I mean, that is absolutely clear. And their governments are saying, don't bail. And companies are like, dude, I'm out the door. Why are they sticking to this? Because it makes them, one, it makes them look feckless because this isn't going to work. And the other is, is you're basically shilling for a, a corrupt uh, state sponsor of terrorism. So it just makes them look bad. And it, to be honest, it's just hard to chalk it up to anything. But, well, we hate Trump. Yeah. I, I, I hear you. You know, listen, at the, we could chalk a whole lot of decisions made by a whole lot of people and countries uh, to that. James, thank you very much. Always appreciate it. Good being with you. All right, folks, let's take a quick look at the equity futures. We were at the low.